Hello everybody and welcome to this short video with myself and Liz Drew. And Liz, we're looking at the Jupiter JCL 750, which is uh, just the second one in the Jupiter upgrade range. And maybe if I just mention a couple of specs, mm. there's a couple of interesting things and then Liz will get your thoughts yeah. from a playing point of view. So very much aimed at people who are making the first jump up from a plastic model yeah. and you know, comparing against things like the Buffet E12, the Yamaha 450, which we've done separate videos about. In terms of the difference in spec here, there's a couple of things I just wanted to point out. There's a raised CG tone hole uh, around here. So it's kind of usually just a cut straight into the joint, mm. uh, but they've sort of put a, a, a little cap over it. And potentially that's just helping a little bit on the C Certainly it helped with the finger coordination when using the chromatic keys. Yeah, yeah, so it would feel a little different though if you first tried it and you'd never had that but it's not something that would take any more than a few minutes to, to get used to. Um, there's also uh, the metal tenons inside. So actually the joints as they fit together, uh, Liz is going to very kindly yeah. take that apart for us. Just um, to see that. Yeah, little metal, metal tenons. And you do find that on some professional model clarinets. Yeah. A lot of the manufacturers believe it adds sort of stability, not only from the manufacturing point of view, but also that carries on the solidity of sound resonation yeah. through the instrument. And just a couple of things on the back. There is a uh, adjustable thumb rest here, which is commonplace now on lots of upgrade clarinets. Helps you find the right position, and they do this kind of slightly curved register key, which is an interesting thing. I'm not totally sure whether that makes life easier or not, but it's something to feel if you're testing it out. And Liz, you also mentioned. I say it's just it um, makes it harder to miss it for, those, well, that's for good. those students who are learning to play over the break. It can be an issue sometimes, but that would make it possibly easier. Yeah, so at least targeted for the right market mm. for the use. And we were mentioning as well these slightly raised uh, trill key options there. Yes, so these, these um, fork keys here, often when students are first learning to use them, because they're situated lower, not raised so high, they can place these rings down at the same time, which negates why you're opening the key in the first place. So this is making the, the key work easier for somebody learning to use those keys. Yeah. So again, aimed at this sort of level, yeah. I think that's the thing. So there has been a, quite a bit of thought, at least, gone in from that point of view. Um, so maybe let's just have a mm. little listen, Liz, and then we'll think about that. So just obviously from a plain point of view, yeah. A lot of things at this level now are very consistent. Indeed. So, I mean, is, and does this line up in a similar way? Yes, I mean, the key work responds very easily. It's, it's well situated for a player. The instrument is light. So in all those regards, it, it would be a good upgrade. And I think if you are looking at upgrading, there are a lot of choices here. There's the Buffets, the Yamahas, the Jupiter, there's an Ubel, there's a Wincraft, and so yeah. on and so forth. But we've done a separate video kind of where we talk about them all together. But it very much comes down to what you're expecting to hear, what you like to hear, resistance, do you, don't you, And how your mouthpiece is set up, because every mouthpiece will work differently on every clarinet. So for some, one instrument will work better than, than with others. Yeah, and I think that's important yeah. because we try and avoid saying what's best or worst or sounds like this or mm. sounds like that, because it can be quite subjective. So we encourage you just to come and have a try and do consider this if you're looking at those other brands in that upgrade Certainly. area. Great. Well, if you can just give us a few more notes, Liz, yep. to finish up, that'd be lovely. Mm. 